Hello amigos, this is Ed and today we're going to be talking about um, Java interface applications and how you can make um, your own interface applications using CSS with FXML in Java. Wow, so let's go for it, okay? So I just, uh, I want to show you two things. First one, how to use CSS uh, code in a FXML a file and how to put a uh, drop shadow effect because as you may know uh, you can add a drop, a, a drop shadow effect with CSS but not here in FXML we have to do that directly in the XML file well FXML in this case and it's almost the same so uh, so what I, I did is I, I add a new FXML empty actually this is the controller but it's it's really not doing nothing at all. I'm not gonna use it in this video actually. We're just gonna be using this FXML and this style sheet cascade. So uh, if you want to, if you double click the your FXML file is gonna open up Sim Builder. Then you actually have to download Sim Builder to work with it. If you haven't downloaded it, do it. So if you want to um, to check the code in this file, you just click and edit. And it's gonna send you to this XML file. The only difference between XML and FXML is and FXML is working with the Java FX library. Then it's the new new library from for Java. So let's double click this thing again. It's gonna open up our um, our preview view of our project. So right now I'm gonna just take this hyperlink. I'm gonna drop it there, and I'm gonna show you what things you can do with. Uh, with this um, sim builder, so I'm just gonna type here the name. Oh, yeah, of course. First, we have to uh, select this object, whatever object you have in your screen, and you're gonna add here in properties uh, style sheets. So we're gonna add the style sheet of our project, and this this one is the fixable style. That's CSS. That's the name I put on it. We're gonna save this. It's really important to save every time you want to do any kind of change. I don't know why this hypertext appear from nothing. So right now I'm gonna type that hyper link uh, color brackets, and here I'm gonna type my CSS code. And actually we're not gonna type CSS. We're gonna type FX CSS, some shit like that. The only difference between FX and CSS is that we're gonna type first line FX line. And there it's gonna be all this beautiful CSS code we already know. Well, let's make the background blue. I mean, it's a aqua blue, aqualine, aquamarine, line, aqua marine, whatever. And we're gonna save it, and boom, now we have a nice aquamarine blue for our background. And we're gonna also change the text file, the text field to white. And also, I'm gonna type here the same thing, but with a hover. A hover. So every time I um, um I just hover it with my with my with my mouse or whatever, it's gonna be color uh, red. Why not? Fuck this shit. I'm gonna save this here. So now it disappears and it's it's been modified here. And I'm gonna, as I, 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 I made a hover property, and this is a static uh, view of our final view, we can see the difference when when I put my, my mouse here, it, it's not working, you see? So I'm gonna preview, show preview in window, or just command P for Mac or control P for Windows, and if I hover it, it's not red. It's great, right? It's beautiful. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add a um, a drop the shadow effect. If I type here effects, uh, yeah effect, and I write here drop shadow, it actually it appears up, up as drop shadow, but I don't know why it ain't working. You know, I really don't know. I mean, I just want to add some values here. And it's just not working. I don't know why. I was so horrified about it, but 
ain't working. So as it's not working, as it should in CSS, in CSS I'm just going to take this out and I'm going to show you how to add a, um, a shadow. So we're going to add it from here in this in this um, XML. So the first thing we're going to be doing is that why we have this, I don't know, I'm just going to take it out. Yeah, I'm just going to take it out. And um, actually, I'm gonna if, if if we change something here, it in it have to change in our sim builder view. So I'm gonna write here. I don't know. Alcohol. No, that's a bad word, right? Let's type uh, kitten. So I'm just gonna save this. And if we write it here, okay, let's close this. Let's put down save. And it's gonna open up this thing again. And it says kitten here. It's almost unreadable because aquamarine sucks. So let's change it to blue. It's a nice red blue. I don't know why I write aquamarine in the first place. I just remember the name. So if we type here, ah, that's it. We have kitten there. We make review. And now our kitten is red. It's blue, red, blue, beautiful. So uh, let's go back here. And what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to not close this hypertext here. We're going to close it um, here with hyperlink. hyperlink. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm still saying hypertext. It's not even an hypertext. I don't know if it is, but what I'm sure is that we're going to type here. Sorry, we're going to type here effect, effect. And right here, we're going to type drop. Maybe it's because it's this drop shadow. Drop shadow. I don't remember how was this shit. I know I have it here. Ah, that's it. Oops, sorry. Drop shadow, color gray, offset in X and Y, whatever. We're just gonna copy this shit and oh, sorry. I'm I'm, I'm saying like a lot of bad words today. Yeah, and it's still uh. Uh, here or here, but it's because we don't have the library for effects. So we're gonna add the library. We're gonna import, import, Java, effects. That uh, effects, I believe, or I don't know. I'm not sure if it's it's in it's in that effect that close. Ah, yeah, sure. This, yeah. So that right now we don't have any error, and if we save this, let's go save this. It's now it's been saved here. What fuck's going on here? Cancel. It's gonna be my set. And if you didn't see it, it 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 here it, it appears and it have a change. And whoa, now it have a change. And as we did it in the effects of malware, affecting the whole um, the whole object. So it doesn't matter if I hover it, it's still the shadow right there. So that's it for today, kids. I just figured out how to do this thing and really have me, I have real problems with this. So I want to make this video for you. I wish uh, I could make some videos later about something else that I can learn about all this new Java effects library. So that's it for today. I love you. Thanks for your comment. Bye.